Hello and welcome to another episode of Clueless About Cocktails. I'm Ken and if you were here last week you'll remember that I attempted to make a Manhattan and that didn't go very well. So my quest continues to try to make whiskey taste good, at least to taste good to me. So I did have a proper Manhattan later on that weekend, uh, prepared by my friends Ray and Mary, and uh, yeah, so that was good. My effort was not great. I'll link to it down below if you would like to watch that train wreck. So this week we're revisiting whiskey, and this time we're going to do it with the whiskey sour recipe. And of course you need whiskey. We'll also be using simple syrup that I made the night before. Uh, lemon juice, and then a cherry to garnish. And no, I did not squeeze fresh lemons to make the lemon juice. I'm not doing that. Now, I have a high probability of liking the way this tastes just because I love all things sour, all things sweet and sour. I like Sour Patch Kids gummies. I like nerds. I like warheads. I, if I could just carry a bag of citric acid around with me, citric acid and, and sugar powder all mixed together, I would eat that with a spoon all day every day and be very happy doing so. Now I have seen recipes for a whiskey sour that call for one egg white. I'm not going to put an egg white in my drink. Okay, so first, obviously, the whiskey, and I think I have my measurements figured out, so I I made doubly sure to check, and this is one ounce, and this is one and a half ounces. So I think I have a better shot at getting this right this time. All right, so according to the recipe that I found on Bon Appetit, it's asking for two ounces of bourbon or whiskey. So I love that sound. That sounds so much. Okay, so two ounces. So this is one ounce. It's two of these. I've got my shaker, and it's got ice in it. So. If I could pour, that would be good. I need... Damn it, I've got a pour spout for this dumb thing. I always forget about it until I'm pouring. Okay. Whiskey everywhere. Awesome. <laughs> I will never be a bartender because I'm a klutz. All right. So there's the whiskey. So two ounces. What else we got here? Um, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. So, oh good, I can actually squeeze, so there we go. Oh! Oh! Shit. <laughs> Excellent. Now, now the dining room table is going to smell like whiskey and lemon juice. Three quarters of an ounce simple syrup. So here's the simple syrup I made last night. I hope this turned out because I haven't actually tested this yet. All right, that looks like three quarters of an ounce to me. <laughs> Look at all this lemon juice everywhere. Okay, um, yeah, so that's it for the recipe. Now it says shake. We will Mm -hmm. It says until very cold. It's getting very cold very quickly. Okay, that's really cold. All right, so got that. So fortunately, the shaker itself has a built in strainer. So now I can just put it into the glass. It has ice in it already. All right, and you're supposed to put a cherry on top to garnish. Mm. 
these cherries are amazing. They're expensive, but they will change your mind about maraschino cherries. If you think you don't like maraschino cherries, you're wrong because you haven't had these. If I can find a link for just that, that was part of a kit that we got for making cocktails, but if I can find them by themselves, I'll post a link down below for you. So, cheers. Hmm. That's strange. Okay, I can I can definitely taste the whiskey. And it's it's not as you know, it's not as much of a whiskey flavor punch in the taste buds as the Manhattan was last week. There's something still off and I can't place it. I don't know if it's the, if we could add some more simple syrup to it, maybe that would change things a little bit. Yeah, there's an aftertaste here that I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, I definitely like my attempt at this more than I did my attempt at the Manhattan last week, but there's still something not quite pleasant about it. So I'm not sure if it's the type of whiskey that I'm using because a lot of the recipes called for bourbon whiskey and I guess is this bourbon? No, this is blended scotch whiskey is what the uh, Johnny Walker is. So maybe that's it. Maybe if I was actually using a bourbon whiskey instead of that then the flavor would be different. If shoe leather was a flavor I have figured out how to reproduce it in a glass. It's not what this is supposed to taste like, I'm guessing. When everything else goes awry, eat the cherry. Mmm, because that does not disappoint. Okay, so, um, yes, this experiment better than last week's. Still not wonderful, so I'm still going to search searching for a way to make whiskey taste good to me. If you have any suggestions of what I might do differently next time, uh, maybe any other drink recipes I should try, go ahead, send them to me, ken at openandshutreviews.com. And, uh, you know, keep trying. Until next time, I'm Ken McKim. You take care and enjoy your drink. Yeah, if Corinthian leather had a taste, it's in my glass.